what we're looking at here is a stairway that has the correct stair nosing on the upper floor. Now this isn't always going to be the case. I can't tell you how many times I see a stairway with a one inch nosing or a one inch overhang on the step uh, throughout the entire stairway but not at the top. Now here's a good example of what I'm talking about. You can see that the stair, the stair treads are I believe 3 by 12s or 4 by 12s and there's no nosing at the top or at the landing. Um, this could have been easily fixed. They could have brought the decking boards out a little further or changed the direction of the deck and ran them the other way and left a nice nosing just like this here. Now this is actually a nosing out of two by six. So this, this would represent a two by six deck like the picture before um, and a regular conventional stairway built out of plywood and of course this is the opposite where you might have 2 by 6 or 2 by 12 um, stair treads with a one inch nosing and some type of a plywood or oriented strand board OSB decking material. Either way there you've got to compensate for the nosing on your landings any landing, even if it's the bottom landing, uh, any of the landings in between where the stairway, you might have four steps running up to a landing and then, um, you know, 10 steps running up to a floor. So remember, you've got to allow for a nosing um, in all of the areas, the floors, landings, platforms, anything which uh, if you're going to be using a stairway with a nosing. However, you will run into certain cases where a stairway will not have a nosing or a overhang on it and it will not have an undercut either. And if this is the case, you will need to transfer that exact nosing to all of the landings, floors, platforms, anything that is going to be in the stairway. So it really depends upon the type of nosing or overhang, tread overhang or undercut. Whatever you're going to use for that particular stairway needs to be adjusted and compensated for at all landings, floors and platforms.